Arkansas 16, LSU 13. And I only bring it up because it was a hell of a ball game. LSU's postgame win expectancy was actually 59% in this game. The LSU defense held the Hogs to a field goal in the first half and six punts. And to do that against that offense was awesome. Just awesome. The LSU defense showed up in the spot. Neither team could do anything in the red zone. It felt like, I mean, it was just, or, or, or couldn't even get to the red zone. How's that? Because Arkansas only got there one time, and they scored a touchdown. LSU got there twice, and they scored on, on one of them, right? Like, I, this, I, I'm so curious what LSU is going to look like with a new head coach, because they have got talent. They have got the dudes. And the defense has come along and has looked much better. Switching up, like Ed O said, like after the Alabama game, he said, we installed eight new defensive looks before the Alabama game. And it has completely tricked Alabama, and it has completely tricked Arkansas, and both of those offenses are used to putting up 30, 40, 50 points in ballgames. And, I mean, LSU broke Alabama's streak of scoring 31 points in, in what was it, like 30-some-odd games in a row? I mean, it went back like three years. And LSU's good. Gary Lewis jumps in. LSU's not quitting. Credit to their players. Yes. Like, this is crazy. Kerry B jumped in. LSU versus Arkansas. Uh, Arkansas defense played well. They held LSU to the fewest points since 1906. KJ Jefferson, that's not true. Maybe the maybe the fewest points in Death Valley since 1906. KJ Jefferson for, no, that's not true either. The fewest, say, points, true. the fewest points for Arkansas, I bet. I was like, because they've been shut out multiple times in Baton Rouge and yeah, everything else. Say, so it had to be it had to be yeah. Arkansas. K.J. Jefferson for the next Heisman and in Arkansas 7-3 is Sam Pittman Coach of the Year. No, he's not Coach of the Year. Uh, he's done a really good job with this team. He's in the conversation. He's, he's he, certainly, he's, yeah. If you were going to a place to get an award, he would be a finalist that would get to go to the trip. Yes. Yes. What do you think about Garrett Nussmeyer? Like 18 out of 31 passing, 179 yards, one touchdown, two picks. LSU's quarterback next year is not on the roster. I kind of thought the same thing. Okay. I kind of thought the same thing. Like, so Max my Johnson. My thoughts on Nussmeyer are irrelevant. I think Nussmeyer is head and shoulders better than Max Johnson right now. And not, it ain't even close. The, the overtime sack that he took. No, yeah, bad. That was very much a, a freshman mistake. Yes. But the, but the thing is, is the uh, first half touchdown where he just runs around, scrambles, turns, launches the football like it just exploded out of a rifle. And then you had a, if it was Alabama, everyone called it the Devontae Smith catch because it was the exact same thing, but nobody cared because it was LSU and they're not very good. It, that, like that, that was unbelievable. And we don't have a quarterback on the roster that has that arm talent other than him. True, true. Uh, this this was a strange. Uh, I'll tell you this: I believe with all my heart, if he would have played in the Alabama game, we we beat Bama. I don't. Disagree all we with needed, that. all we needed, was one or two big plays the entire game. That's it. He's not going to make more mistakes than Mac Johnson made. Yeah, no, no, we no you're just right. needed one or two big plays, and that game's over with. Yes, the difference in this ball game, by the way, uh, was LSU turnovers. Three of them well, for yeah. LSU, zero for Arkansas. No, he's still going to turn the football yeah. over. He's a freshman quarterback that's not – and here's the thing. He's not great. He's not great. That's fine. Our coaching coaches that are there to develop him aren't great. Our offensive scheme, not great. Our offensive line, not very good at all. So, it's it's tough. We don't have great wide receivers playing right now, and, and he doesn't have a lot of benefits of anything. But he's also not great. That's okay. Yes. Arkansas running the football, which is typically their bread and butter – 40 attempts, only 139 yards, uh, 3.5 a clip on this. KJ Jefferson, 15 for 41. Johnson was 14 out of 30, or 14 for 39. Um, yeah, I, this was a tightly contested ball game. Uh, only 308 total yards for LSU, 281 for Arkansas, and it came down to who made the mistakes. Yeah, turnovers, and that's yeah. what Arkansas is really good at. LSU is good at turning the ball over, and Arkansas is good at taking them away. I also thought that this is a Dead ass year for LSU. Okay. Like this, this year doesn't matter. We've already fired our coach. We're playing spoiler and we're just trying to work hard. And these players are working their ass off. They want to win every game, win it out. And that's, that's important. This is actually a big win for Arkansas. Arkansas needs this more than them. There was no doubt when we went into overtime, I didn't like that because yeah. 
And, and there was a reason Sam Pittman was perfectly comfortable going into overtime because he thought well, we can win this thing in overtime. If we get this thing in regulation and chaos happens, then then LSU could take this from us. But they were not afraid at all of going to overtime. Not not one little bit because they believe they're the better football team. I think they're the better football team. And and this is this is bigger for them in that this season than. That would have just been another win for LSU, and it would have been another reason for people to call Arkansas frauds if Arkansas loses that game. But if you look at Arkansas' schedule and you look at their resume, it they're you know they're much better than anybody thought they were. If you lose to LSU, people just assume those wins earlier don't matter. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, Gary Lewis, I knew the young Nussmeyer would be pretty good at quarterback. I'm so old, I followed his dad's college and NFL playing, not coaching career. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he's, where was he? Was he Idaho? Was he? Where, where I don't did, remember where he went where to college. At? I know, I know, he's the quarterbacks coach at at, uh, at Dallas. Right? Here we go, Gary. Oh, Nussmeyer, decent passing college football quarterback, as was his dad, early '90s at the University of Idaho. That's what it was. Yeah, it's Idaho. Yep. Yeah. No. Uh, we and we've got some more uh, more discussion about the SEC about uh, people saying that Arkansas is going to handle BYU and Cincinnati next year. Elvin said this isn't the Pac-12. Let's see. Captain Genius expand playoffs, mostly eliminate committees, no guesswork or opinion uh, polls, problem solved. AMAC said Greg Sankey called. He wants his invitation back. Look on the bright side. Texas Conference USA is looking for uh, a few teams. Again, why would you give up Texas if you know that you can beat them and they're going to bring more money to the conference? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.